Hey guys, today we're going to be reading November 23rd. This is Ezekiel 27 and 28, 1 Peter 5, uh, Psalm 119, 121 to 128, and Proverbs 28, 11. So here we go, Ezekiel 27 and 28. The word of the Lord came to me. Now you, son of man, raise a lamentation over Tyre, and say to Tyre, who dwells at the entrance of the entrances of the sea, merchant of the peoples, to many coastlands. Thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your, your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders made perfect your beauty. They made all your planks of fir trees from Senir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you, o of oaks. Of Bashan they made your oars. They made your deck of pines from the coasts of Cyprus, inlaid with ivory. Of fine embroidered linen from Egypt was your sail, serving as your banner. Blue and purple from the coasts of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your rowers. Your skilled men, O Tyre, were in, were in you. They were your pilots. The elders of Gibal and her skilled men were in you, caulking your seams. All the ships of the sea with their mariners were in you to barter for your water for your wares. Persia and Lud and Put were in your army as, a, as your men of war. They hung the shield and helmet in you. They gave you splendor. Men of Arvad and Helic were on your walls all around, and men of Ga Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They made perfect your beauty. Tarshish did business with you because of your great wealth of every kind, silver, iron, tin, and lead. They exchanged for your wares. Javan, Tubal, and Meshesh traded with you. They exchanged human beings and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. From Beth Tug Tugarma, they exchanged horses, war horses, and mules for your wares. The men of Dedan traded with you. Many coastlands were your own special markets. They brought in they brought you in payment ivory tusks and they brought you in payment ivory tusks and ebony. Syria did business with you because of your abundant goods. They exchanged for your wares emeralds, purple, embroidered, embroidered work, fine linen, coral, and ruby. Judah and the land of Israel traded with you. They exchanged for your merchandise wheat of mineth, meal, meal, honey, oil, and balm. Damascus did business with, with you for your abundant goods because of your great wealth of every kind, wine of Helban and wool of Sehar, and casks of wine from Uzal, they exchanged for your wares. Wrought iron, Cassia, and Calamus were bartered for your merchandise. Dedan traded with you in, sac in saddle cloths for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your favored dealers in lambs, rams, and goats. In these they did business with you. The traders of Sheba and Ramah traded with you. They exchanged for your wares the best of all kinds of spices and all precious stones of and gold. Haran, Kena, Aden, traders of Sheba, Ashur, and Chilmad traded with you. In your market, in your market they traded, these traded with you in choice garments, in clothes of blue and embroidered work, and in carpets of colored material, bound with cords and made secure. The ships of Tarshish traveled for you with your merchandise, so you were filled and heavy laden in the heart of the seas. Your rowers have brought you out into the high seas. The east wind has wrecked you in the hearts of the seas. Your riches, your wares, your merchandise, your mariners and your pilots, your caulkers, your dealers in merchandise, and all your men of war who are in you, with all your crew that is in your midst, sink into the hearts of the seas on the day of your fall. At the sound of, your cry, of the cry of your pilots, the countryside shakes, and down from the ships come all who handle the oar. The mariners and all the pilots of the sea stand on the land and shout aloud over you and cry out bitterly. They cast dust on their heads and wallow in ashes. They make themselves bald for you and put sackcloth on their waist. And they weep over you in bitterness of soul with bitter mourning. In their wailing, they raise a lamentation for you and lament over you. Who is like tired, like one destroyed in the midst of the sea? When your waters came from the seas, when your wares came from the seas, you satisfied many peoples. With your abundant wealth and merchandise, you enriched the kings of the earth. Now you are wrecked by the seas in the depths of the water, waters. Your merchandise and all your crew in your midst have sunk with you. All the inhabitants of the coastlands are appalled at you, and the hair of the kings bristle with horror. 
their faces are convulsed. The merchants among the peoples hiss at you. You have come to a dreadful end and shall be no more forever. Chapter 28. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because your heart is proud and you have said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of gods in the heart of the seas, You are, yet you are but a man and no God, though you make your heart like the heart of a God. You are indeed wiser than Daniel. No secret is hidden from you, but uh, by your wisdom and your understanding, you have made wealth for yourself and have gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom in your trade, you have increased your wealth, and your heart has become proud in your wealth. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you make your heart like the heart of a God, therefore, behold, I will bring foreigners upon you, the most ruthless of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall thrust you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the heart of the seas." Will you still say, I am a God, in the, I am a God in the presence of those who kill you, though you are but a man and no God in the hands of those who slay you? You shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of, a far, of foreigners, for I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, raise a lamentation over the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the signet of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. Sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle, and crafted in gold were your settings and your engravings. On the day that you were created, they were prepared. You were an anointed guardian cherub. I placed you. You were, ho- you were on the holy mountain of God. In the midst of the stones and fire you walked. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were cre- created till the till unrighteousness was found in you. In the abundance of your trade, you were filled with violence in your midst, and you sinned. So I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O guardian cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Your heart was proud because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I exposed you before kings to feast their eyes on you. By the multitude of your iniquities in the unrighteousness of your trade you profaned your sanctuaries so i brought fire out from your midst it consumed you and i turned you to ashes on the earth in the sight of all who saw you all who know all who know you among the peoples are appalled at you you have come to a dreadful end and shall be no more forever the word of the lord came to me son of man set your face toward sidon and prophesy prophesy against her and say Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Sidon, and I will manifest my glory in your midst. When I, ex- oh, sorry, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I execute judgments in her and manifest my holiness in her. For I will send pestilence into her and blood into her streets, and the slain shall fall in her midst by the sword that is against her on every side. Then they will know that I am the Lord. And for the house of Israel, there shall be no more a briar to prick or a thorn to hurt them among all their neighbors, whom, who have treated them with contempt. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, When I gather the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered, and manifest my holiness in them in the sight of the nations, then they shall dwell in their own land that I, give, that I gave to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell securely in it, and they shall build houses and plant vineyards. They shall dwell securely when I execute judgments upon all their neighbors." who have treated them with contempt. They will know that I am the Lord. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. 1 Peter chapter 5. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive your unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, 
seeking someone to, to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered for a after you have suffered a little while, the grace of all, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a br faithful brother, as I regard him, I have written briefly to you, exhorting and declaring that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. She who is at Babylon, like who is like wise chosen, sends you greetings, and so does Mark, my son. Greet one another with the kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Psalm 119, 121-128. Ayin. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Give me, give your servant a pledge of good. Let not the insolent oppress me. My eyes long for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold, above fine gold. Therefore, I consider all your precepts to be right. I hate every false way. Proverbs 28:11. A rich man is wise in his own eyes, but a poor man who has understanding will find him out. All right. Our next reading will be November 24th. It's Ezekiel 29, 30, and 31. 2 Peter 1, 1 through 11. Psalm 119, 129 to 136. And Proverbs 28, 12 and 13. Thanks for reading with me today. And I will be back here tonight or tomorrow with our next reading for the 24th. Hope you have a great day.